first alert forecast. Well, it is going to be a very busy week across 21 country, and we've been giving you that first alert since last week of what's to come. Multiple rounds of rain showers starting here in just about a few minutes to an hour. Then cool down coming closer towards the middle of the week before we could have that first chance to see some snowflakes. Now we're going to time all this out for you here. So for the rest of the day today, expect to see afternoon rain showers starting to calm down towards the evening. But we're going to see rain showers pick back up throughout the overnight hours and for the morning tomorrow will remain dry for most of the afternoon tomorrow, even leading into Wednesday where that cold air finally starts to arrive. Going to see a couple of uh, rounds of scattered showers yet again. But Thursday is really going to be the key day you want to look out for. It's going to be the coldest day we have this week and also going to be our best chance to see some of those rain showers that could even turn over into some wet snowflakes. By Friday, good news for Christmas on Broadway. Doesn't look like any precipitation, but it's still going to be cold and breezy, meaning you're definitely going to want to bundle up. If you're heading out on Friday before we finally start to see conditions get a little bit better by the time we enter the weekend. So in terms of where we're seeing that come from, it's all coming from a low pressure system that's currently over Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, going to be tracking up into the upper Midwest as we go throughout the rest of this week. You can see there's a lot of precipitation with it. Right now, we're still seeing that warm end uh, from this system and some showers finally starting to enter some of the southwestern portions of the area. But as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon, we're going to be seeing those rain showers continue to move across the area, getting closer and closer towards really the, all of this area for the afternoon early evening. After that, we dry out and that's going to continue until we head overnight getting into the early morning. We're going to see a second round of showers start to enter, some of which could be heavy. Our chances, though, to really see those temperatures cool down aren't going to really be that high. We're going to remain very warm throughout the day tomorrow. It's not going to be until Wednesday, even though we're going to be trending relatively dry, where we're going to start to see those temperatures cool down, another round of rain showers enter, and then that's when we finally start to see that transition over into what's mostly going to be a mix of some rain and then some wet snowflakes. I'm not really buying the chances to see a lot of snow actually coming down. That's because temperatures are expected to be way too warm as we go into really even the middle to end of the week in terms of supporting snow showers. So even though we start to see that cold air seep in by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, temperatures expect to remain above 32 degrees. So the chances to actually see some of that snow fall and stick to the ground probably aren't going to be likely. We'll, we'll start to see those temperatures get better by the time we enter into the weekend. Now, do expect to see wind gusts also picking up. So even though we're not going to be feeling too cold to support snow, what we are going to be seeing is wind chills getting very cool. Expect to see wind chills bottoming out down towards the 20s by the time we get towards Thursday, even into the 30s for Friday for Christmas on Broadway. So as we take a look here at your extended forecast, expect to see those rain showers continue as we go throughout the week in a very scattered fashion, cooling down starting on Wednesday. The good news is we'll dry out by the time we get to Friday for Christmas on Broadway, starting to get better as we head into the weekend. Lots of changes, Michael. Thanks for all the important information. Everyone's